Live from Cleveland, it's the GOP primary debate with your host, Jumpy the Foul Mouth Hamster. Thank you for joining us for the second installment of the 2016 GOP primary debates. Tonight we will hear from the next four candidates according to the polls, Mike Huckabee, Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio, and Rand Paul. This should be good. The rules for the debate tonight, as always, are simple. I will ask each candidate one or two questions and they will have one minute to reply. I control the floor and if any candidate gets out of hand, I'll kick the shit out of them. So let's start with you, Mr. Huckabee. Can you tell us why you are so against gays and gay marriage and <laughs> why you like Chuck Norris so much? You're right, Jumpy. I am against gays and gay marriage. I absolutely hate the thought of a man gently caressing another man's bulging genitals, slowly pumping each other till they both scream in ecstasy. It makes me sick to think about. No, marriage should be between a man and a woman. And as for Chuck Norris, he's the answer to everything. Problems with border security? Send Chuck Norris. He'll kick their ass. Possible terrorism threat in the U.S.? Send in Walker, Texas Ranger. He'll deal with it. Or like when I had protesters in front of my house after my son tortured and killed that dog and I got him off the hook. Send Walker. I mean, the man is perfect. Masculine and handsome. Has that blonde hair and that prickly strong beard. Awesome. You have got to be shitting me. Did you just hear that? I, I've i got nothing. Mr. Huckabee, I have a feeling you have a lot of skeletons in your closet, and that scares the shit out of me. Why don't you just go back into your closet, way, way, way back into the closet, and just shut the door quietly, and never, ever, 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 ever come out again. Okay, Senator Cruz. Oh, this should be good. You have consistently said that you don't believe in global warming or climate change. Can you tell us why you feel this way and how it is that you've become such a dumb fuck? Sure, Jumpy. There is no proof that we're going through what the experts are calling climate change. I mean, so what if the glaciers are melting? Or we have more intense hurricanes, or polar bears are dying off, or more than 120 lakes have dried up in the Arctic, or that the penguin population is dying off, or that the ecosystems are changing all over the world, or that California is in the midst of an irreversible drought. None of that means global warming. There is just no proof. I mean, what do you want us to do? come up with a bunch of rules and regulations and use all that science stuff to make the world a cleaner, more safer place to live? I mean, come on. Senator, for all the children of the world, I would like to come over there and slap the stupid off your ass. It's now a tie for dumbest motherfucker on the planet. You and Scott Walker are now tied. Congratulations, Senator. You are without a doubt the most disliked man in the room right now, and that is saying something. How the fuck did I get stuck with these dipshits? Is it just me, or are these fuckers really, really stupid? I'm just asking. Okay, on to you, Marco Rubio. Ah, fuck it. I don't even care anymore. Marco Rubio, please tell us how stupid you are and why we should give a shit. Well, I agree with Senator Cruz. There is no proof that we are going through what the experts are calling climate change. I mean, so what if the glaciers are melting? Or we have more intense hurricanes? The polar bears are dying off? Or more than 120 lakes have dried up in the Arctic? Or that the penguin population is dying off? Or that the ecosystems are changing all over the world? Or that California is in the midst of an irreversible drought? None of that means global warming. There is just no proof. I mean, what do you want us to do? Come up with a bunch of rules and regulations and use all that science stuff to make the world a cleaner, more safer place to live? I mean, come on. Are you fucking kidding me? You just said the exact same thing as Ted Cruz. Are you so stupid that you can't come up with your own material? 
I hope to hell that both of you die in a tragic iceberg accident. Fuck, I'm really starting to get pissed off here. I'm surrounded by idiots. I'm a hamster and I'm the smartest being in the room. Next idiot up, fucking Rand Paul. Boy, the stupid shit doesn't stop spewing from your mouth, does it, Rand? My question for you is why are you so pro-marijuana? Dude, it's cool, man. Marijuana's like far out. It cures what ails you. I got a bag the other day and rolled a fatty. Man, I was higher than a Georgia pine. I thought of all this cool stuff to do if I was elected president and was like, whoa. But then I forgot it all. But it was cool, man. The way I figure it, life sucks. So if smoking a little doobage helps deal with everything, why not? I mean, dude, I live in Kentucky. What else is there to do? Huh. Wow. Well, you know, I, uh, I'm kind of cool with that. You know, Rand, I'm staying at the Marriott tonight if you want to swing by after the debate. Yeah, cool. All right, man. We'll see you later. You know, aside from that friendly exchange, the GOP candidates, all of them, are a fucking joke. If you're going to vote for a Republican just for the sake of voting Republican, do us all a favor and go fuck yourself. And don't get me wrong, the Democratic Party isn't any better. Every one of these motherfuckers has a ton of dirty laundry. It's time to wake up, people. Your country is going to shit and none of you care. Maybe you should actually get off your fat asses and do a little research instead of believing everything you hear down at the racist coffee shop. Stupid fucks. So that's all the time we have tonight. Please join us tomorrow when we interview Donald Trump. And until then, please educate yourself.